In this video, we're going to be going over how to get this new free diamond moments, Jose Alvarado and NBA 2K23, my team, going over what he looks like stats and badges wise and if he's worth grinding for. So how to get to this screen, what you guys want to do is go to your season agendas. You want to scroll down to the moments tab and then you want to look for the moments Jose Alvarado. Looking at the stats you have to put up, you have to put up 38 points with any Jose Alvarado in a game. You need two assists with him in a game, three rebounds, one steal and make a three pointers with any Jose Alvarado in one game. So that's going to be very easy to do. You can literally get that done in one single game and i'll go show you guys what's the best challenge to do that in before we look at the card we'll look at his stats and badges and see what the card does look like but what challenge you guys can do that in very very easily is go to the basketball fundamentals and go to the inside scoring and you guys can see this is going to be on semi-pro difficulty if you guys have been playing my team for a while now you will know how op this challenge is it's super easy to get a lot of these challenges done so you need like 38 points with jose get his 38 points get his two assists his one steals his eight threes and i think is like three rebounds get that all done in this game and then once you have all the challenges done all you got to do to end the game is score five baskets off post moves which basically just means post fadeaways post hooks and those type of moves so it's going to be super easy to do because it's going to be on that semi-pro difficulty and then once you get all the challenges done you can pretty much end the game right away so super easy challenge for this diamond jose alvarado i know a lot of people wanted to see anthony davis i'll maybe talk about that a little bit after we talk about the Jose Alvaro stats and badges, because I do want to see what he looks like on 2KDB. So at a point guard position, shooting guard, he is six foot though. So he's going to be a way too short, not way too short, but he's going to be short for a point guard, six foot three wingspan. But defensively, I will say on the perimeter, going to be a beast. He's going to remind me a lot of a guy like a Trey Young, at least stats wise. I mean, he's going to be a way better defender than Trey Young, but he's not going to be, you know, better offensively. But he does have a 97 steal, 95 lateral quickness with a 95 perimeter. So he's going to be a great, great defender, uh, at least for, at least for, I mean, he's going to be six foot so he's not going to be like an amazing defender but at least stats wise he's going to be really good on the defensive end i will say though only a 30 driving dunk definitely going to hurt this card a lot he is going to be super fast though 93 speed 93 acceleration he does have a 95 three ball which is going to be really nice for a shorter point guard but the main flaw about this card or one of the biggest flaws about the card is first off he's not going to have the greatest dribble six for a short point guard you need to have a really good jump shot and some really good dribble six to make you really worth grinding for or really worth playing but this guy doesn't have or jose doesn't have good dribble six and he's gonna have his jump shot on slow and i'm not i haven't used the jump shot so maybe it's still pretty good but the fact that he's a point guard who's six foot and he only has a jump shot on slow i'm not really sure about that you guys can let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this jose card are you guys going to be grinding for him is he worth grinding for i mean these challenges are literally super easy to do you can get these done in literally what 20 minutes not even 10 minutes 15 minutes like you can get them done in literally less than 10 minutes so i think it's definitely worth grinding for of how easy of a grind it is to do also for the people asking you know where's anthony davis why do we not get an ad the reason why i think 2k probably shouldn't have given him an, uh, an ad card i mean they could have gave him maybe a pink diamond or a diamond and made him a lot worse than his opal but people spend so much time grinding for his galaxy opal if i quickly go show you guys like people spend so much time and me included grinding for this opal anthony davis if they were to if they were just to drop a pink diamond that's very very similar to a guy like opal ad maybe he's not as good but he's very very similar i feel like that would just be a huge letdown a huge waste of time for people that actually grinded for his opal so i think they could have maybe gave ad a diamond or maybe even a pink diamond as well but made him a lot worse they definitely could have done something like that but i feel like it's a good idea they just stayed away from it because you never know if they made that card really really good and very close to his opal i know so many people will be upset but let me know did you guys want to see an ad did you guys want to see a really souped up pink diamond ad let me know your guys thoughts in the comment section down below but i'll catch you guys in the next one peace